Hi, my name is Dr. Neko. I'm a cosmetic dentist at Harley Street Dental Studio. I'm also trained in advanced facial aesthetics and I'm here to talk to you about your journey in facial aesthetics and to answer any questions that you may have. I definitely recommend a consultation. Um, this can be a video consultation now as well. This gives the patient the opportunity to discuss with the practitioner their areas of concern and the practitioner can advise them whether this treatment is a suitable treatment for them. Um, they can discuss the procedure in a bit more detail so it allows the patient to feel a little bit more at ease when they're coming in for the treatment they know what to expect. So as you come into the clinic, um, everything is cleansed, prepped and we use this equipment here. Um, you come and sit in the chair, it's quite a relaxed environment. Um, some patients do put on their favourite show and you know put some headphones on and watch the, the show whilst they have the procedure. Um, it's not really a painful procedure, so we clean the area first, mark any relevant areas um, and, and perform the procedure and usually within about 10-15 minutes it's all over. When you have the treatment done immediately after, you don't see anything at all. You might have a little bit of redness around the area, but that tends to go down really quickly. Another common question I get asked a lot is whether it will look really frozen. Um, so we try not to give that frozen look. So what we want to do is to, um, the, the Botox is dose dependent. We want to provide the right amount, um, but not over treat either. So you get that frozen look. So you still want to move your eyebrows, express, but you want to um, target the wrinkles so the lines don't appear. So traditionally, Botox was used for medical conditions. Typically now, it's used for aesthetic reasons to reduce those wrinkles. Um, but it can actually treat quite a range of um, conditions within the dental practice. So um, commonly, it can be used treat, to treat migraines. And a lot of patients that have Botox done as a byproduct will notice that they have less headaches. Another condition it can treat is bruxism, which is um, if you clench and grind your teeth at night time. So these muscles typically are really, really tense, and if you to place Botox in those areas, it will relax them so the patient can't clench and grind at night time as much, and it also provides less force on the teeth. And lastly, another area where it's commonly used if you have a high smile line or a gummy smile, where the lip contracts quite a bit and you can see a little bit more pink than you would normally and that can um, help just relax those muscles so the patient can't um, contract their upper lip as much and show a lot of gum. I hope that answered all your questions. If it hasn't, get in touch, drop us a DM or call the clinic and uh, don't forget to follow us on our social media page and hope you all have a good day.